Hello everyone, my name is Henk Heymans. I'm from RSM South Africa. I'm the national quality leader. With me is Andrew Galloway. We both work in the order department of RSM South Africa. And recently RSM South Africa has established a data analytics department that obviously assists all the departments, but we are here to talk about how do we use data analytics specifically in an audit of financial statements. So what is data analytics? It's obviously where you have access to big data from a client and you analyze it. So we've got very sophisticated tools like Arbutus. We've got trained data analysts that can analyze this data. Uh, so what do we use it for? For example, the very obvious example is if you do the VAT calculation, for example. In the past, we used to take a sample of 30 items and you would calculate if the VAT was calculated correctly. So you take 30 items times by the percentage and you check that it's close. Now, we don't have to take 30 items. Clients got 300,000 invoices. We can simply take all 300,000, apply an Excel formula and you test all 300,000 items and in a matter of seconds, you've got two items that are outliers or calculated incorrectly. So that's the obvious place to check. Instead of testing a sample, you test uh, everything. So let's just go through an audit, Andrew. If you think about, let's say, planning in an audit, just where do we use it in the planning side of an audit? I think, I think that planning is where we find uh, the most use for data analytics in that uh, an audit is, as you know, a risk-based uh, process. So the more risks that we can identify as auditors up front, the better audit we can do. The more focused our testing can be on the areas which are potentially problematic. Our beauty software that we use uh, gives us a lot of information. We run a series of standard tests. Those tests are uh, carefully designed to focus on areas which we know from experience are are indicators of potential risk. Like? So for example, we can look at the data and we will run duplication tests. Okay. So for example, as you mentioned earlier, you could have a huge population of 300,000 transactions and immediately we can identify where there may be duplicate duplicates. Those duplicates might be in the form of where, where somebody's tried to push a payment two payments for the same amount through and they've just changed one letter on the name of the, the client or the supplier that they're paying, uh, we can pick that up. So using fuzzy logic, all those uh, uh, buzzwords in yeah, terms of data yeah. analytics, they are very useful actually in helping us to identify and in the those past, risks. You wouldn't have had a chance to pick that up. If you have 300,000 or a million invoices, there's no chance that you will pick up with a sample that two invoices are for exactly the same payment, but the supplier name just changes by one letter. So it just makes a big difference. At the planning, because you identify the risk, you can see which transactions we need to focus on. Okay, and then during during the audit, what can we use that for? It will depend on the, how sophisticated the, uh, our client's accounting package is, but on the more sophisticated uh, packages, we can really do a deep dive into uh, details of each transaction. For example, who authorized that transaction, who approved that transaction. We can, we can really get a lot of information and that, that is very helpful to clients as well in terms of value added. When we put our management letter together, we're able to go to them, sit before the audit committee and say, do you know that out of the 300,000 transactions, we identified that these five, not five transactions, these five were problem, potentially problematic and might be an indicator of something that you need to look at and address in your what system. What you can also do is you can actually link transactions from different parts. So if you sell something, you can actually take the purchase of that item, compare the two, and you can see the item was sold at a loss or Absolutely. at a smaller gross profit than you would have expected. Absolutely. So as an audit partner, you're the one that at the end signs off the audit report. What are the benefits to you in terms of the whole audit? The benefit to the audit partner is he's, he knows that he can do a better audit, a more uh, a, a, a audit with better coverage, yeah. uh, much less risk of missing something uh, that could be very problemat problematic. So I think it, it adds lots of benefit to the audit in terms of comfort that you, you're getting so much bigger coverage on, on what you're testing.
So there's a lot more places where we can use data analytics. We just literally scratch the surface because we just want to get an, give an idea of what data analytics can be used for. And also just to show you that we've got tools, depending on the type of client, depending on the sophistication of the client system, ranging from the very simple to very, very advanced technology that we can use to identify anomalies. We talked about fuzzy logic and things like that, all the way, all the way up to the most complicated technology. And that's what we can do at RSM South Africa. If there's any more questions, you're welcome to contact any of us in the audit department or anyone at the firm. Thanks, Andrew. Absolutely. Thanks, Egg.